What up, what up, yo? Mm. We about to start Diva Diva Talk podcast. Let me get my girls in here. Ah, hair in my face and shit. What is up, Bryson? What's up, player? What's up, Saku? I'm about to invite you in in a second. Oh, where's my other darling? Hey, what's up, Dushan? <laughs> what is up, y'all? So I was in a rush. Look at my hair everywhere. I'm trying to fix it and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Mm, mm, mm. What's up, you guys? We're about to start uh, Diva Talk in a minute. Uh, we got a special guest today by the name of Saku. He will be joining us. And mm. it's been a long day. Mm. Studio emails, phone calls, and shit. Diva, stay busy. Stay busy. All right, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, thank you so much, Bryson. Uh, as a matter of fact, we got to do some more uh, events together. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, of course. <laughs> me, uh, me, you, and Dana. <laughs> hey, what's up, sweet tooth gems and grills? We got to get you on here next. All right, so cool. I'm about to invite you in. You got one coming up next month, Bryson? Well, let me know. In San Jose, my hometown. What What's is up? up? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. I need to put a filter on. <laughs> um, what up, Seneca? <laughs> hold on. Let me get it together. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, no, I feel you. Like, get the filters going, everything that you need to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. What's up, Black Lady Made Tati? All right, what is up? <laughs> <laughs> there goes Diamond. Let me get her in really quick. Diamond, Diamond. Diamond. I'm right here, sweetheart. <laughs> I just fight at you, darling. With your fine self. We've been seeing okay. that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Diamond, you get the invite? I just invited you. So we could get this party started. You feel me? Yes, started. Let me try inviting her again. Y'all just hold tight. Let's see. Instagram should be happening. So, so how was your day, Sako? It's good. You know, another day. <laughs> another day, another dollar, huh? Sure thing. <laughs> no. Hey, I feel you. I feel you. Um, yeah. Oh, can no. you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Dang, I'm trying to... Diamond, where you at, girl? It says you weren't able to join. I gotta, you know what I'm saying, get my little uh, drinky drink on. Right? Ah, I'm not drinking that thing. <laughs> <laughs> we don't keep a professional. <laughs> my fave, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Lit when we on 
do the talk podcast. <laughs> right. We're going to be late. So, all right. <clears throat> so, you guys, just to begin, uh, my girls will be joining us shortly. Oh, <coughs> there you go. Diamond? No. It's dark. Where you have to. Diamond's in the house. Chef Ooey. Mm -hmm. With that good macaroni and cheese. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Diamond, sis? Just got done with work. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. You be multitasking. Oh, my God. Wow. Right. All oh, right, y'all. Yeah. Somebody else. Ah, uh, uh, Seneca. Uh, all right, bro. We're going to bring you in, too. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it is Kelda Music. Diamond So Sexy here on Diva Talk Night. We got a special guest for you, my homeboy. Oh, and we got Seneca in the building. <laughs> y'all remember Hi, last time? All right, y'all, we got a special guest. Um, he is a model, actor, host. Look, you name it. Everyone, please welcome Saku. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Saku? What's up? How you doing, baby? I'm doing good. Yes. Look, you had texted me earlier. You were like, wait a minute. We going live? What's going we on? We going live? <laughs> <laughs> I meant to text you yesterday and tell you, yeah, I'll do it. Mm. I'm ready. You ready? Hey, so ready. You, remember, uh, you remember Sweet Tooth Gems and Grills? I do. I do remember them. You said, what's up? What's up? Oh, there we go. What's up? <laughs> And <laughs> Black Lady Top Team. Hey, Black Lady Top Team. Yes, and we had Seneca uh, chime in uh, on Tuesday, and he's back again to join us, everybody. What's up, Seneca? Ooh, what's up? What are you doing? Yes, yes. No, so let, let's get right into it. Um, so, right. Saku, yeah. uh, won't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself? All okay, right, well, first off, my name is Seku. I'm Sekou. 25. Um, I'm a model. And um, I model, I do a little bit of acting, I'm a house, um, and yeah, we're just getting things popping. Um, I'm about to uh, be two years signed, so my anniversary's coming up next month, and I'm just out here working. <laughs> Let's see, I met you. Yes, love. True, true Threads. Yes. Shout you out know, to her. Shout out to her. She was just on here the other day. Right, Diamond? Right, right. I see that. I see. <laughs> yes. And then we're like, okay, we got to get Sekou on because, you know what I'm saying, he knows how to work the crowd. He knows how to work the audience. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Sekou, um, I saw you. You did that interview with uh, the Spanish channel. Yes. Tell us about that. Okay. So, it was cool. It was honestly cool. I was nervous. Okay. Um, it was cool doing it because it's something I wanted to do and being in my career, I wanted to, I want people to get to know who I am as a model, as what I have going on. Um, and it was just a dope opportunity to go on a Spanish show because I am half Mexican. So to, oh, really? okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. wait, were you, were you speaking Spanish? No, no, I was speaking, I was speaking English. Oh, okay, okay. But okay. they had like the translate thing on the bottom for all the Spanish speakers. Right. Okay, okay. Yeah. That was that was in Fresno. That was in Fresno, yeah. And look, you gonna you gonna try to get me to uh the hookup to be on that show too, right? You yes, I got you, I got you. Okay, cause okay. I'll, I'll... <laughs> I no, I really got you. No, for show, for show. Let's do it, let's do it. So, uh, what other projects you got working on right now? Okay, so um, I got three movies coming out. Stay tuned mm -hmm. for those. Um, I just did uh, a music video, another mm -hmm. Latino um, video. So, it's crazy because I always want to do a music video, right? Mm -hmm. I always want to get on TV, right? But it's crazy out of the shows that I had got on, the show was a Spanish show. The music video with the Spanish music video. You get what I'm saying? Mm, mm -hmm. But every opportunity that comes to take it because you never know when 
it's gonna be your time to get the mega mega game. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. So yeah. I'm just pretty much out here working and trying to get it like the rest of us, like the rest of you guys. Yeah, no, I feel that. Mm-hmm. What, what did you do in the video? Um, a little bit of dancing. You know. <laughs> He was stripping. No, 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 not stripping. <laughs> 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 he was stripping. No, no, no. Look at the video. Uh, not stripping, stripping no. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was just, modeling, uh, dancing, just modeling, dancing. Yeah. Mm. Where can we catch the video? Is it out yet? It's not out yet. It should be coming out soon. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, then, what's the name of it? I don't know the name yet because they're still trying to put the name of the video. But when it come out, I'll let y'all know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we gonna uh, jump into some topics here. Um, yes. Uh, uh, Diamond, you got the topics. The the juice. Oh gosh, she's about to bring the juice. <laughs> I gotta go get the paper. Diamond got the tea. Diamond got the juice. Okay, Seneca, you ready? You ready for the tea? Oh wait, let's, let's, let's ask him about his business while we got people in here, so he can tell us about where he's from, who he is. Uh, okay. and I'm Seneca. Um, I'm from LA, born and raised in LA. Shops in LA at the Swats and Swap Meet. Um, okay. I don't know where it is. That's in the heart of South Central, Slauson and Western, sixteen hundred West Slauson. Are you near? Nip- are you near Nipsey Hustle store? Uh, way oh, down the street. Like a, a, a long way down, way down the street. Nipsey's in the sixties. I'm in the fifties. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, so down, but I mean, it's also it's still all the same thing. I mean, you could drive straight from the swap, me go straight up to Nip stuff and see what's going on. Shout out to Nip, so R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. Nip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I got actually actually soon, very soon. I has um, I have his brother um, his brother uh, cowboy. I got his car coming down my way, so. Mm. I'll be doing something about that. I'll be I'll posting that soon. Yes, yeah, so I know. I've been on his brother for like like very very long though. Like this is like before like Nip was on, but me and his brother got a different kind of relationship. His brother actually has a uh, like an artistic brother, and he used to take care of him, like really keep him real close to him. So that I'm I'm close to him behind that because I used to watch that and see him and be part of that. So I really know this guy. Oh, I don't know Nip like that. But I know his brother for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's what's up. Damn. Yeah, I got a couple of things here that we roll with. Yeah, so it's a small. I tell everybody, it's a small world. Somebody knows somebody for sure, especially in this like my automotive industry. Everybody looking for deals, and I got the deal. So somebody gonna come to me anyways. They gonna refer somebody of somebody. Well, uh, me, Diamond, and Say Cool, we gonna uh, come up there. Uh, hey, yeah. and um. Yeah, now nah, y'all gonna get a lot of publicity. I'm telling you, it's gonna be cameras and all that stuff outside. You got the you got the famous loss and swap me where everything goes down. So all the hood celebs come down there to see what's up once in a while. Oh yeah, we finna go down there. Yeah, see what's all up. Right. I'll be out there. I mean, all I do is throw my hands up. Big sin ain't no big sin. I'm I'm known right. up there. I'm a little celebrity. Everybody know. Respect me though. Like I said, I've done like a lot of cars in that shop. So either you do, if you ain't doing too good, they're gonna be on your head. But I come here and get my respect. Everybody nod to me. I get little discounts, little ways and stuff like that. But we straight. But um, that's what we do. We do body work, engine work, suspension, like most anything for cars. If you need it, we got it. Insurance claims always welcome. We always hiring. Like I said, we always hiring for recruiters to advertise and look for other cars and touch other platforms we can't touch. So like I said, if I meet with anybody that can put me on another platform or I put them out there, like I said, I'll connect it to my uh, my people. We, I mean, we go from there. I'm like, basically, I'm like the little baby connect man. If you want anything up top or below, I got it. Somebody I know, believe me, somebody that does something. Okay. Um, I ha- so I have something for you. Mm-hmm. I forgot I have my computer by me, so I'm gonna show you guys a little peek of the Mexican music of uh, the music video. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not stripping, <laughs> <laughs> but I got y'all. Oh wait, stay cool. Hold on. What Seneca? What is your business name? So, uh, Dino's Automotive, D-E-N-O-S, Automotive. And you can put that in your link, right? I mean, not in your uh, link. Yeah, you can go, I think yeah, I you go, you go to my link. It's, it's, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's just a uh, CEO of Dino's Automotive. Um, it should be there, 1600 West Lawson. Yeah, it should have the, uh, that on there. should be everything on there. Yeah, make sure you type it, type it so everybody could know. What up, Dominique? Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, so say cool, you got to, uh, 
You got a sneak peek of your video? Yes, is y'all ready? Give me one second. Yes, um, and it. And I also have a little sneak peek. I do have another video of the Mexican, uh, not the Mexican, of the Spanish show I was on. If y'all want to check that out too, I got y'all. So right, roll with it. Ready? Roll with it. Okay. So you want to see the music video first, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show us a clip of it. So the pin that um, Dino's automotive. Gotcha. Yeah. Pin. There we go. And why he's he see it now? Gems. Are you one the one who's doing the lessons on how to do that? Because I want to learn how to do that. And I'll be doing everything. So I don't need to know how to do that too. Tails <laughs> in the the what is it called the, on the teeth? Yeah, the little gems that's on the teeth. Yeah, the gems. Oh. I want some, but I want to learn how to I'm do ready? it. <laughs> we need to have that person on the show next so I can get some information. <laughs> okay. Yes, we ready. Yeah, we looking. We ready. I got bad light. People and they businesses. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, look like his thing is stuck. Right. They well, could. Well, uh, yeah. well in, in the meantime, before we get back. <laughs> in the meantime, I don't know if y'all know. But we got one of the first NBA players that's a billionaire. Do you guys know who that is? Type it in the chat. Don't say it out loud. Hope y'all didn't hear because I was trying to talk over her. Type it in the chat. Who was the first NBA billionaire? It was all on oh, the state room oh. and World Star, so I know y'all had to see it. Oh, why you play for us? <laughs> right. Why you play for us? That's my guy. That's the that's the next man I'm trying to get come to my shop. Is oh 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 my my guy for sure. Oh, you know it's nothing but a uh, a share and a like and a getting a DM. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love how he just did that. Um, yeah, that's right. <laughs> it I is know. LeBron James. That's my boy. That's my that's my guy. My guy got to give me one more championship so I can get out there and see what's up. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes. So say to us, before we get into the next topic, you got the video up for it? Yeah, I think yeah, I think I see it. Oh, is that the so, plan? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's it, that's it. Uh, yeah. What up, Brent? No, that's not yeah. Ready? <laughs> Just in a minute, sis? Okay. All right. Okay, we can go to the video. Sorry. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Ready, boom. I, I got y'all. That's the music video. Can we hear the audio? Oh, hold on. Give me one second. <laughs> hey, uh, Seneca. Yes, ma'am. Is, is there any way you could join us a bit later? I got to let uh, my other co-hosts in the room. <laughs> yep, yep. Y'all just hit me back when you're ready. Okay, for sure. All right, thank uh, you so much. Uh, all right. Okay. He's so awesome. Let me uh invite the other beauty. This is making me look bad, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, while you're trying to figure out the sound. Oh, <laughs> hey, <is>. supermodel. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous people. How y'all doing? Yep, yo, we got Brandy in the building. Hey, Brandy. What's up? God playing. How y'all doing? <laughs> What's up? Can y'all hear the seagulls? Yeah, I can hear the seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it's better than pigeons. It's better than pigeons. I'm by the water. The, the the window is open, so. Okay, where you at? I am in the world. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Asking me where I'm at on live? Girl, you crazy. Oh, I know. Right. <laughs> They'd be like, okay, now we know where she at. <laughs> oh, I'm saying. <laughs> I'm in the world. Uh, everybody, 
keeps dropping off. What's going on? And you know how it is with this live, online, internet, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I just um, took an intermediate break from working um, a little bit. I'm actually doing hair. So I took oh, okay. time out. So yeah. I had to just tap in with you guys. Oh, she said, don't ask where she at. <laughs> So what we talk about, y'all? What's going on tonight? We are talking about the first NBA player to uh, become a billionaire. Ooh, and who was the answer to that question? Mr. LeBron James. I should have known. Okay, and I'm not mad at you. So what y'all feel? I mean, what happened? What I miss? Um, no, we was just talking about that and how we're so proud of him. And are, are you guys a, a Lakers fan or what? Who who you guys like? Well, I used to be heavily into sports, predominantly basketball, but, you know, life happened, babies and stuff, and, and men, people, and all that kind of stuff, so I just got really preoccupied, so I only catch usually the um, championship games and different things like that, so I don't have a favorite team, um, I typically go with my town, you know, we out here warrior-based, but um, I don't have a favorite because of like players and stuff. Okay. What about you, Seku? I don't have a favorite team. Whoever wins, wins. <laughs> you would be both. But, right. Um, I fixed the audio, so we can hear it now. Okay. Let's right. let's, see. let's see it. Y'all ready? Here's a premiere of Seku in a Spanish music video. Yes. Can you guys hear it? A little bit. So that's a little. So I have another sleep piece for y'all. Shout out to the camera guy. Like he really got like my angle was like he got your booty. <laughs> <laughs> I was in there working. I was sweaty. Like and I don't dance so. But yeah, that's a little sneak peek. That was a highlight of my career. So yeah, somebody said somebody said talk us through it. So what was what was going on in that scene? What was happening? I mean, clearly so, we're dancing, but what was happening? So what's happening? It was like a music video. It was like at the club kind of scene, and they were just playing like the music. So we're just all dancing and stuff like that. So did you have like a bunch of fun? Did everybody get along well? Oh my god, everyone! Environment. Yes, everyone got along. Um, I had a bunch of fun. Like I was drinking on set. <laughs> I normally don't drink, but I was like, I "What was you drinking? Drink. What was you sipping on?" I was drinking Buzz Light. Buzz Light. Sipping on that. How's you going? How me oh. going? <laughs> <laughs> but it was good though. I, I had fun. Would I do another one? I would. I would do another one. That's cool. I would do another one. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. Are we ready to get into the next topic, ladies? And congrats on the video cameo. Say cool. Thank you. Yes. Yes. What we got? What we got next, Diamond? We can't hear you. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> All she has to do is smile with that pretty face and then that's that. <laughs> yes, they cool is lit. What's up, Tati? Right, we are lit, y'all. I don't know. All right, well, let's get into the next topic. So, um, log off and come back on again. Yeah. <laughs> everybody, everybody. But you know what? I notice sometimes I uh, feel like when there's four people, sometimes it's less good 
than when there's three. It, like it's taking up too much bandwidth or something. Maybe so. Like I feel like like when there's two, it's the strongest. When there's three, it's cool. You have a little bit of issues. And then when it be four, it kind of varies. Almost like the last person to come in as the fourth person be kind of funky sometimes, you know. But and they might have nothing to do with it. It just might be, you know, by chance. It's an Instagram thing. That's why they could only allow, what, three to four people or four people on at a time because they don't obviously have that much bandwidth or something like that to host more than four people. Yeah. But um, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Instagram straight tripping up. Oh, okay. Let's see. That is a clue. I don't know if you guys talked about it already, but do you have any events coming up yourself? Oh, that's a good question. Um, as a matter of fact, yes, uh, July 31st, I'll be uh, hosting and performing at uh, Danielle Davis's fashion show in Oakland. Uh, we'll be posting the flyer uh, uh, tomorrow and throughout this weekend. We need everybody to come through. We need all the models. We need uh, fashion designers, Every everybody who wants to come through. So um, when is it? Bang. Uh, it, it's it's uh it's July thirty first. Um, I gotta look at the flyer to um to see where the location is. Mm -hmm. But I'll, I'll be posting it soon. Uh, here comes Diamond. I'll I'll be posting it soon. But uh, you got you gotta come, Brandy. You say booking busy. I love that. I am going to try and make arrangements for a sitter. <laughs> okay. You know, I've been in school, so I have one last test to take. I keep saying this is my Woo! last thing to do, last thing to do. Oh, my God. So, but I need to knock that out. Um, and then, so next week, I'm going to be working, 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 and trying to live up and make up lost time. So, yes, if I can live be up that, in that live space, live even if I'm only there for 30 minutes just to show my love and support, and then I got to go grab my baby. I can leave her in the car or nothing, but... I'm going to just make sure I have her somewhere safe and then I'm going to come and support and be helpful if I can. And, um, cause it's always a good time. You know, the love is always strong whenever I go to your events and I always have a, a fun, fantastic time. So I would love to do that. So, you know, I'm going to be in touch about it. You need to be modeling in the show with your sexy self. Are you guys looking for models? <laughs> nah, I'm, no, I'm not good at Andy does everything too. Like she, oh my god, <laughs> a multi too much. I need to get my life together. I've been making bonnets, making wigs. I've been doing science projects. I go to school. Been doing weaves. Been doing locks. Been cutting hair. You know, all kinds making of that stuff. money, making T-shirts, all that. You need some, you know. Go to my page at B Nicole Styling. Hit me up. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check you out. Shout you out, Brandy. Can you, um, if you don't mind, do you want to share uh, what you're studying in school, or do you want to keep that private for now? No, it's fine. So ultimately, I'm trying to finish up to become a clinical laboratory scientist or CLS. Um, after you acquire your bachelor's degree, you have to do an additional year of schooling to become certified in your field so that you can do that. And basically all that means is when you go get your blood work done at the hospital, I'm the person that they send it to to find out what's wrong with you. Like looking at your cells and, and concentrations of this or that, and then we'll determine, um, oh, okay, well, this looks like cancer or this looks like leukemia or this looks like this and then have a sit down with your doctor to decide um what's a good course of action for you based on the information and then your doctor and you will discuss how to move forward but i'll, I'll be the one to tell you what's wrong with you <laughs> what's wrong with you <laughs> what's going on with you yeah so that's what's happening that's what's up that's what Thank you. I'm trying. It's a long Congratulations. Time. One class at a time, but I'm doing it. <laughs> right. Congratulations. And I'm so happy and proud for you because you're also setting an example for your kids. People such yeah. as myself, like, you know, it's not too late to go back to school. Hell no. Nah. I'm about to be 40. Virgo's in the house. In wait, September. wait, you lied. 
40. I'm about to be 40 yep. years old, okay? And I'm okay with that. And yes, my ass is still in school. But like I said, is the time is going to pass anyway, right? So if it's something like that you want to do that you ain't never did, I don't care if it's singing, I don't care if it's rapping, just be good at it, though. But I don't care if it's singing, I don't care if it's rapping, dancing, just do what makes you happy as long as it makes sense, right? If you, I got kids, so I can't struggle to be an artist you know what i'm saying but i can still do that in my free time and i can feature somebody need me Ooh, you know holler but i'm not gonna put my focus there put my focus where it's gonna make sure that we straight and then i'm gonna do on the side with my additional time everything else that's gonna bring in that income as well as make me happy but it's never too late to go after your dreams whatever they may be i don't care how og is you know I'm a, I tell people all the time, I'm going to be fucking 62, 82 in a hot leather skirt and a tube top and pink hair. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Yes. I love it. I love That's it. right. Woo! I don't care. That's me. It's always been me. It's always been. You see, I cut all my hair off. Like, my parents was like, oh, my God. But people was like, oh, we love it. I'm like, this. Like, yeah, that's you, B. That's what you do. I said, absolutely. I don't care. You, you I take. I care. Then you take risks. Like, look, I'm gonna just do it and see what. It yeah, gets. I don't like it. I'm gonna throw a wig on, let it grow out, put some braids in until I can make it work. Like, whatever. I was nervous at first, but I got tired of being nervous. So then I was like, all right, well, fuck it, let's go. <laughs> and you know what? At the end of the day, just hair. You know what I mean? There you go. Yeah. I want to say. Hair. I want to say something. I want to say something. Go ahead, say cool. It's uh, a new beginning for yes. you. you know what I'm saying? It's a new beginning. The hair you cut off, that's the old you. This is the new you. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. the past, the journey that you are, keep going, keep thriving for it to reach the stars. Because at the end of the day, you're going places. You know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate so- that, sis. Like, all of us, especially with our support from everybody yes. here supporting each one of us here, as well as those watching and listening. Like, it's so important to have the right people around, around you, you. Right? That, that want to help you realize your dreams, even if it's just through support or physical support or whatever that they can do, which is why right. I love everybody right here, you know, because I think we all demonstrate that, right, yeah. for each other in the best way that we can. And that's so important. It's mm-hmm. so important to have a good circle of people that's not going to bullshit you because they're trying to ride your coattails, that's not going to, you know, bullshit you because they want to see you fail. Like, right. you want want the right people so i appreciate everybody for every place or every role that they play in my life and i always want to be able to do like i say if i can i will right right you need something from me you need me to be somewhere do something if i can't do it i can't do it but if i can best believe i'm gonna show up and i'm gonna show out for you as if it was for me you know so exactly that's that's what we got to do and keep doing and since that's what we got to do and keep going can y'all hear me now Yes, oh, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> okay, great. Because I was wondering, does anybody want to get married? No. No? Oh, well, there's two of us in the room. We <laughs> talked about this before. Now, I since said, two yeah, of us no. want to get married, have you ever thought of how you wanted to be proposed to? Because I know I have. And you tell I want us, it to cause... be a fabulous <laughs> moment. One that's unforgettable. One that not everybody got to be there, but I would like some, you know, the closest of the close to be there. If they're not there, that's fine. But make it a forgettable moment. <laughs> yeah, unforgettable moment. Yeah, Sorry, we, we know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> I so, agree with you. You agree? Yes. So, how do you feel about Michael Blackson, the comedian, proposing to his girlfriend of a long time, well, not that long of a time, on The Breakfast Club? That's cute. I, I think that, that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you feel different. <laughs> I mean, oh, because it's the know. breakfast club. Because it, it was Charlemagne the God, and it was the other people. The, that's why it was cute. Like, come off as a publicity stunt to you guys, or yeah, they could oh, yeah. very much so. Michael Blackson is full of those. Right. Full right. Of shit. <laughs> You, you know what, I though? I hope that he's not playing with her emotions, though. That would be awful. <laughs> that would be so awful. Like the Love and Hip Hop Couples Retreat or something like yeah, that. Yeah, she was on there. Yeah. She was on there. Yeah. Yep. Who was his girlfriend? Just, 
kind of got over their differences. <laughs> now they're about to get married, huh? Right. Yeah, they. That's yeah. I mean, wait, wait, wait. So, uh, quick question though about him. Mm -hmm. Are they still having different people in their relationships? They got an open relationship. They got an open relationship. They have people come in their relationship. Oh Lord! So Make her name on action. Instagram. Somebody tag her right now. Somebody tag her right now on on the live. Tag her at M Z R A D Darling. Girl, you know, M Z R A D A M as in Mary. Let's see here to uh, talk to us. <laughs> M Z R A D A, darling. Oh, there she is. I see her. Uh huh. It... Wait, so so that's that's who his his fiance is. Yep. Mm, Okay. Okay. That's interesting. And. Well, on her Instagram page, she says, I had no idea this was going to happen. I thought he was going to ask me about side bitches. <laughs> yeah, because I thought he was into, um, like, polygamy or something or having well, multiple wives. Well, she knows. And for y'all who didn't see, let me see if I can show y'all the clip. I'm going to start over. Duh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me see how <laughs> I mean, uh, you could have called the paparazzi, okay? You could have had the tabloids up in there, you know what I'm saying? Where was the family at? Where was her mama? You know what I mean? Anybody, right. Anybody, like, you know what I'm saying? Now, okay, I take that back. Don't propose to me there. We ain't getting married. We don't do that. You know what I mean? Where was the, the family? Right. You know what I mean? If this was if, if this was real, you get what I'm saying? Where was the family? I agree. But does family and friends always need to be there when um when you get proposed to? I mean, is that the thing? I mean I, I mean that's kind of it. nice. It's I think everybody's different. Everybody has their own you should know your partner and what they more than likely would desire. So that's what I was going to say about that is I don't know their relationship. So if they, obviously I they're, know. you know, public eye, whatever, whatever. If they all about, like you said, the, the stunting for the for the gram and all the stuff, then maybe that makes sense for them. I mean, they're open. But yeah, you know, I think it's just, like Diamond said, it just needs to be something memorable that you know would be memorable for me so if you know i'm a big family person i'm super close to my such and such and so and so you know i want them next to me in this moment because i need them there but if we the type of people that we be doing on me and you babe we just rocking hard out all the time and then I, we can let them know later that's okay too because that's how we roll but mm -mm, i don't know that still was a little i mean people like this maybe she likes spontaneity and the fact yeah. that he just sprung it on her, like, just no clue, not a nice dinner, not a, nothing, like, maybe that's the way she like it. Maybe. So, maybe. but I mean, would you rather him not ask? I mean, I don't know. Well, not but, that I wouldn't rather, I would, I would rather him just not do it at the, at the freaking. I mean, I'm with you, Diamond. I'm mean, not <laughs> I'm just saying, like. I mean, unless it was, like, some kind of beautiful theme that they was having, but I feel like they were talking about his comedian stuff at first. That's like you coming out the house looking crazy and and you don't got no no makeup on your hair all over your head or whatever the case you in your body in pajamas and you in the grocery store with your boo buying some milk and eggs and then he get down on one knee in the store and people looking at you and you unprepared. I mean, it's, hey. it's, it's, but that's inappropriate, right? Like, or, or he had the last speaker and asked you. You I mean, it, it's like the idea, the intent is beautiful, but what, what? you did, come on, boo. You can but I feel that. like you didn't put enough. I mean, okay, put it like this: if you did it at the radio station for me, there should have been like hella fucking flowers, some candy. There should have been hella shit going on. Where I walked in and been like, "What's going on here? What is this?" You know, right. like Angela Yee, be like, "Oh yeah, my boyfriend came and brought me flowers," and then then you know, then so like, yeah. what you do. But, but I mean, so, 
what you guys are saying, if it was in a place that was, I don't know, inappropriate or whatever, you would say no? No. If I loved him, I would obviously just be so overwhelmed in the moment and be happy. I'm not going to be like, where's my mom at? Like, I'm not going to be like right. that. I'm going to be like just in the moment. It's going to be beautiful. But trust and believe when that high what comes down, I'm going to have something to say about it. If it was, and it don't have to be perfect. It don't have to be exactly the way I imagined it. But if it wasn't something thought out, it wasn't something that you went out of your way to make a moment, I'm going to have something to say about it later. That's right. Me. So don't think you know me. Exactly. Like I got a bone to pick with you, now. right? You should you should know me if you're trying to marry me. You should know me. I'm sure we've had a conversation at some point of what I would like my moment to be like, or we watching something on TV, and I'm like, oh, how sweet and how cute. You, if you care, you think in marriage, you're gonna be watching me. You're gonna be talking to my friends. You're gonna be like, look, what you think she gonna want? Like that's what I think. Right. Right. But look, exactly. Quick question. Quick. I have a question. But wouldn't that be fucked up if she had said no? No. No, that, no, 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 I'm saying, but he wants to propose to her in, at the radio station, right? On air, if it was on air, right? Yeah. Right. I would be so fucking embarrassed if someone told me no. I mean, I'll be embarrassed if someone told me no anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I would be so embarrassed if I was on live, if I was on air. Recording but you wouldn't say I, no. Like, if, if it was at McDonald's or something, right? And he was just I would like, never say no. Exactly. I would never, in public? If well, we no. Alone, you would say no if it was a relationship that you wasn't kind of married. If you wasn't happy mm -hmm. in, if you were not happy in that relationship? No. In the moment. Then you wouldn't we be alone, there then. You wouldn't unless be there. We were, unless we were alone when he proposed. If we were anywhere in public. I, even if I didn't want to marry him, I would never say no in public. I just wouldn't do it. Uh, exactly. I would say yes. Y'all know me. I'm diamond, so motherfucking sexy. And nigga, if I don't like you like that, and you propose to me, I don't care how long we've been together. I'm saying no. You go look at it and be like, nigga, what you doing? Yeah, like, what the Get fuck? your ass up. No. <laughs> but then you Thank have to you think about dinner. it. But then you have to think about it. What led him on? The to where relationship he, where he has the confidence to even propose to you, and then what are you doing with him in that situation now? Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. So in a way, it's kind of like you can't just be like, "No, I don't like you like that." I mean, you kind of gave him some kind of impression that, that made him want to propose in the first yeah. place. Yeah. I don't know, because sometimes, sometimes, but if you, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, just, sometimes you being you make people fall in love with you. And you might not be there yet. And they are. So in that space, they might be like, oh, you're so wonderful and ready to go to that next level and be all off on the wrong page. And you look at them like, what are you doing? What the hell? You're not there yet. That's true, too. It's like climbing for crazy people. Or, or <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> If you in love, love makes you do crazy things. So yeah. I say shoot your shot. If it's no, it's no. Y'all figure it out. Maybe you won't, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's crazy. Now I think it's crazy. <laughs> okay. You think it's crazy? Well, you know what else is crazy? I mean, Kyra no, Banks in a hot tub interviewing Megan the Stallion. Did y'all see that? Yeah, well, I saw a it's little a bit tub. of that. I didn't understand. I Was he make like a statement or something? Like, oh, wait, no, I want to talk. About um, let's see. I'll read the the little note that they have here. She didn't so want to Tyra it. Banks' brand has always been over the top, but it seems she still has the ability to surprise people with her ways. In a recent interview for Sports Illustrated. Tyra sits down with hot girl Megan Thee Stallion to discuss her historic photo shoot, among other things. While Megan was the first rap artist to make the cover of the magazine, talked about her life and rap career, fans admittedly couldn't help but be distracted by Tyra's attire. Tyra conducted the interview in a hot tub, and while Megan, who always kills a swimsuit, was dressed for the occasion, Tyra was fully clothed. 
Now, I don't know if you guys seen America's... Oh, wait, let me show Brandy the um, clip so she can see. I want to be the person who is giving the, the, the call to action. I want to be the person who is saying these words. So I'm like, I don't know what I want to do when I grow up, but I know I want to entertain everybody. I like to see people smile genuinely. I like to see people having a good time. You're not, wait, no, I want to talk. Like, I want to so That's I don't know right. if you guys seen America's Next Top Model, but there was a few episodes where the models had to go swimming in clothes and they have to do all these things. I also don't know if you guys seen Tyra Banks' other show, I forget the name of it, but she did like different little comedic, comedic stunts to get like, you know, obviously more views on the show because it was <laughs> like a small show. And so I would like to say that this was one of those things. One of That's those what things I thought. Where she, she she wanted to get people to watch it. Yep. Outside of it being Megan Thee Stallion, she wanted people to watch it. And she hasn't been on TV or on anything in a long Forever. time. The last time she was somewhere, they were talking about her being a little bit overweight, having a little bit of fat, and eating um, burgers and Philly cheesesteaks. And so to see her now doing this, it's like, okay, you here, boo. I see you. I see you, boo. You can have Beyonce on there. But I want to bring something up. Cause when I first seen it, like literally first seen it, I thought it was a haircut. I'm with my homegirl. We talking about, you know what I'm saying? We're in the hot tub. We're talking about whatever. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm sorry. Say it again. Oh, I'm saying like when I first seen it, I thought they were just in the hot. Like when you first, when I first seen it, I thought they were just in the hot tub. And Tyler was talking about, okay, this is like one of my girls. I'm going to talk to her. So, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But then, as you do bring up, it does look like it's a stunt. Tyler Bank is not; she's not popping no more. I'm sorry, <laughs> she is not popping no more. <laughs> she gotta go. 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 Not Tyra gotta go. She gotta be tired. She got to go. Uh, I, I, I also felt. I saw the. I didn't see the clip, but I saw the picture. And I and I saw her in there. I was just like, she must be doing that because she because we talked about it, right? So right that that must be with this because what else could he be? You in a full on hot tub with clothes on? What what sense with shoulder pads, girl? And it's not like you didn't have an option to conduct the interview somewhere else, some other kind of way. So that being the case, for you to choose to do it in that space and be fully clothed, it it had to be for TV, right? Right, right. So what was she, what was she ultimately trying to do? What was her goal? Viewership for being yeah. full clothed, and then someone next to her. Because it's crazy. It don't make no sense, right? She's trying. She's trying to get talked about. She's trying to get you know the public to recognize her, which relevant. Is, okay, cool. But I mean, maybe event. she'll say. Maybe she'll say. I want the audience to focus on the content of the interview and not my badass like trying to be you know what I'm saying like if I would have came out comfortable in my skin instead of people listening to Megan and, and listening to my questions they would have been online trolling talking about me and what I look like and so to avoid all of that and have you focus on the content of the interview I just kept my clothes on so that's an option well all the fuck well it's <laughs> all the fuck well let me tell you why all the fuck well because I'm gonna bring something up because one of her seasons that she was on, she one of the seasons that somebody was on, she talked about the girl, her color, and her weight, right? So it's funny how years come on, now you're big, and now you're not confident in yourself. What happened to Big Bad Tyra Banks? What happened? <laughs> you were big and bad when you were talking shit about somebody else's size and, and their color, but now that you're big and whatever the hell you're going through, you don't want that focus on you. <laughs> right. But 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 I thought you were America's last top model. I thought you were, you know, this big old model and you showed up to everybody, but you really don't. That's true. Uh, I agree with that. You know, it's it's funny, like I, I kind of thought of you know, I love Tyra Banks, you know, first beautiful, you know, uh black model in the USA to cover <laughs> Sports Illustrated, right? Her, she was the first. Yeah. But um, I saw her when she was hosting Dancing with the Stars, and 
Nelly was on there and she said something. She was like, oh yeah, so how do you and your hip hop friends think about, you know, you being on here? And I'm like, why are you trying to just like isolate him? Like he's some animal or whatever. That's what I'm talking about. So that's what I'm talking about. Your hip hop friends? Like, oh, like didn't she do a, a, a didn't she cut an album or a, a song herself and have Kobe featured on it? Like, oh, did she? She she had. I don't know if it was a full on album, but she definitely was trying not a, to not for a minute. Yeah, oh, yeah, and remember, wasn't Kobe featured on it? I think. I was think it? he was. I think he was. He for sure. I think it was in the video. Sure. But if he so, rapped, I don't know. Let me Google search. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's let, right. Let's get the facts straight. <laughs> But I'm, I, you know, when she said that to Nelly, I was just—I I don't know—I felt kind of different about that. Like, you just your hip hop friends. That's, I don't know. Like, I'm not excusing it. I just feel like sometimes celebrities from back in the day had to be a. So not that you have to do that now. Like, had to behave and think and be a certain way, <laughs> and it wasn't okay to just speak your truth and be black, right? And she always played to that. For a while, I don't know about now, but back in the day, played that Barbie role. That oh yeah, isn't it just so fantastic? And uh, like that was just bubbly, and you know. So to say that, <laughs> right? I feel like it's like one of them when you when you play in a role for too long, then it kind of starts becoming part of your reality. And I feel like that might be not necessarily how she feels or who she is as a person, but when you so used to playing that part, that kind of ends up coming out unintentionally and then you look crazy that's true that's true yep 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 i got one little message one little message for, for y'all that's why if you're going me on camera whatever you do and you want to be fake don't be you just be you and let it let it play out yep because I, I you know i want i was telling you what, one thing I'm going to say, because I always want to get on TV, I want to be on TV reality shows. You know what I'm saying? But I might got to go on there fighting because that's not me. You know what I mean? I might got to go on TV and fight people because I'm trying to get to a point. No, I'm going to go on TV, show y'all who I am, show my career, and do two seasons like Cardi B, bounce out, and get it popping. So I'm putting my name out there. You know what I'm saying? So don't go on TV <laughs> trying to be two people and then when, and when the camera's all, oh, you're nice and you're loving, then when the camera comes on, you want to turn the fuck up and you want to be fake. No. Yeah. Be you. Like they said, keep that same energy that you had on camera as you off camera. Right. I don't know. I have, maybe I just have split personalities because I'm, hey, I'm, if I'm on camera and you see me talking here, I might not talk tomorrow. So, I mean, I don't know. Mm. And that's not me being fake. That's just tomorrow's not the same or five minutes sure. later it's not the same right but i think uh, you have to know your own limitations of what you're willing to do and not do that you okay with right like you said you might have good days bad days different personalities and all the stuff i just feel like when you in the industry everybody knows there's certain things that you have to put up with right right that you may not normally do or may not give passes to whatever the case is going to be certain things, but you as an individual get to decide what goes beyond your limit of morality or what you're willing to do for fame or whatever. And everybody's gauge is different. And in some of it's a, a intentional decision on what you will and won't do to get to the next step, who you will and won't. You Somebody might be talented as hell, but they in the papers, in the papers, that's how old I am, but they in the papers right now for some bullshit that they did. Are you not going to do a song with them because of that? Even though they fire, like, what you going to do? So everybody got their own, own little thing that you have to decide what works for you, but just know there's consequences to everything. Right, which is why it's best to be yourself. And, and like you said earlier, like let the chips fall where they may. Be you. If I'm talking today and I ain't talking tomorrow, and you don't like me because of that, because you don't realize that I'm tired or I'm in a mood or whatever, then I'm sorry you feel that way. Right. It is what it is. <laughs> uh, so it was Kobe Bryant's song featuring okay. Tyra Banks. Okay. okay. So 
song and and real quick, I'm gonna play it for you guys. Mm, I ain't heard it. I never heard, heard it. Either. Either. <laughs> Boy, it's Oh, rest in peace to Kobe. Right. Um. Rest in peace, Kobe. Right. Okay, we do not own the rights to this music. <laughs> we do not own the rights. Right, if I said we only gonna play it a little bit. You so funny. Let's get to her part. Oh, she was the chorus. <laughs> <laughs> right, 1.4 million views on this YouTube. Okay. Wherever this is, you guys up here is making some money. And every time it get played, if they, I'm sure they did their business right. They collecting them checks. Right. Get those coins. Gotta get them coins. I didn't even know if that song even existed. <laughs> right. I remember that, that came out, was it the 90s? Uh, it sounded like early 2000s. Yeah, it sounded like early something. Yeah, it really, says I it remember that came out. I was like, okay, <laughs> late nineties, early two thousands. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give it a ninety-eight to two thousand and three. <laughs> Girl, yeah. right? They even got no timestamp. Oh, <laughs> well, let's save that for y'all who's watching this on the replay. If you guys know what time of the year what century that song came out in <laughs> please comment in the comments below because we need to know but it do sound like it was some some 90s some 90s jam like so some after, some after space jam you know it was that era when everybody was trying to do music remember the uh the one football player oh uh, uh Deion sanders yeah and 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 shaquille o'neal yeah oh, it was around that time when everybody was doing music i'm quite sure let's not even start about now what what basketball players are now playing doing music didn't not that they, it's bad uh, it's good didn't they hmm? make a rule where uh basketball players are not allowed to make music if they're playing basketball really Did they? Mm -hmm. I heard about that. It, it was years ago. It was after, oh, I think it was um, Alan Iverson who was trying to drop an album or um, what's that his name? About right. Like, what's his name? What's his like that, name? Wow. But yeah, like the NBA, you know, told their players, hey, you guys can't make hip hop music. And Maybe depending on what you were saying and your music could have brought negative attention to the team. And so they were like, we're not having that. Exactly, exactly. And you because can't censor somebody's music. So it's like, well, if you want to play here, play here. If you want to go do music, go do music. But you can't do both. Not on our dime. Dang. Oh, I said Damian Lillard keep putting out hits. That's right. He does uh, release music. And so does Iman Shepard. Oh, wow. Is he still playing, though? I don't know. I think so. I don't know. <laughs> Not like that. Yeah, he got, he got a new show out. I feel like he do, but him and the wife because he I kept getting traded. He was there. I don't know if he was about to play, but he was on the you know sitting with the team. Oh wow! So I guess they don't they don't care anymore. Maybe it was just <laughs> Allen Iverson because they was always on his tail about. Stuff. Yeah, I was they probably was just hating. Yeah, yeah. But if y'all know the real facts on that, comment Let us in the know. comments below so we can like you know know about that. And since we're talking about some new stuff and how good life is for everybody, how about those people who have alopecia? Have you guys, do you guys know anyone who has alopecia? Or yeah. hair loss issues? You? Yeah. You do? Well, I mean, you do hair, so you probably know a lot of clients. Well, there's yeah. a black owned company that makes products for people with alopecia, scalp, emphysema, eczema, sorry, not emphysema, <laughs> scalp, eczema, and dandruff. What? The name of the company is Black Luxury Hair Solutions. I'll type it in the chat. And that would be cool. They, do, they, uh, they do, come on in. do they, uh, what is it called, uh, do implants? 
Um, no, that's not what it is, actually. It's mm. a hair care system. Yes, it's a hair care system. So it's some drops, some oils, a type of brush, bar soap, which is also like a type of shampoo. And like your hair grow? Yeah. Look, I'll show you. Black luxury hair. Ooh. This is their little promotional little video they got going on here. Now they got our jam plan. Right. We don't want to take down our video. <laughs> <laughs> I was jamming. Though. I was like, hey. So, yes. Hair care solution. So, they come with different stuff. Their shampoo and conditioner. They have a hair grease. Or growth bomb, sorry. And then they have drops. Can I ask, do 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 we still even use hair grease anymore? I, I think there's a whole bunch of things on the market that basically is hair grease, even though they call it right. something else. But right. yes, I would it say what yes. kind of grease you need. I, <laughs> right. you is, it, is it coconut oil? Blue is it magic hair and oil? And all that stuff. <laughs> Blue magic. Right. I make my own hair stuff, actually. So, you know. <laughs> but technically, yes. So this this is my thing I make it myself. about all of that. So I'm a, I, I love supporting mm -hmm. black businesses. I've never tried their stuff. I don't know how good or not good it is. But this is what I'm going to say in general when it comes to alopecia. Because that's what we talk about, right? Hair growth and all that kind of stuff. Yes. With, 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 if you can... If you have alopecia, what you should do is find you, and it's not going to find you a trichologist. So that sounds funny, yeah. but you need a trichologist. Now, a dermatologist is cool, but a trichologist specializes in the scalp, which is the hair we talk about. So there's different types of alopecia, and you need to be able to medically identify the type of alopecia you have because you will spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on several hair systems that will not work for you if you don't know what the problem is. So your right. first step before you go spend $300, $100, whatever on these systems is to find out what your problem is. Because sometimes with a lot of Black women specifically, your issue is, is traction alopecia. And depending on how far along your traction alopecia is, and that's when you get from the two tight braids, the weaves, um, glue-ins not being removed properly. So when you have traction alopecia that is too far advanced, these systems will not work. Okay, they will not work. Most systems promote hair growth from healthy hair follicles. In certain types of alopecia, your follicle is damaged. So no amount of nothing besides potentially minoxidil in hair plants is going to replace that. So go to a trichologist. Find out what's going on with your scalp. And then once you know what your issue is, then yes, please support black businesses and find out what products that they offer that will match your needs and then go from there. Save you some money. <laughs> right. Or at least place your money where it makes the most sense. Because you can try this one, you can try that one, you can try that. And you're like, dang, ain't nothing working. And because that's because you don't know what your problem is. So find out what your problem is and then supplement from there and if you guys describe in more detail uh what alopecia exactly is i don't know if you guys have said it a minute ago but can you can you um because I, I used to know a hairstylist who specialized in helping um you know girls that had alopecia but they they their whole thing was they used uh sewing wigs to help mm -hmm. cover that up but i'm not sure if that really gets to the root of the problem you know what i mean so right. but like what you said makes a lot more sense <laughs> like diamond oh <laughs> I thought she was going to give all the details. You was, you was up on me. I'm like, I'm just, I'm going to get, because she knows somebody. Well, okay. Well, so my two cents on that is, like I said, it kind of it kind of depends. So I don't know. I'm not a trichologist, but there, I know, like I said, there's different kinds of alopecia. So some of it 
is genetic. Like alopecia areata, usually here, like the, the top of the head or whatever, um, and like male pattern baldness on women. It's alopecia areata. Sometimes you can get cortisone shots. Sometimes you can use different things like the hair systems and you can use that for hair growth. But a lot of times it's a little step further because it's genetic and there's nothing you can do about that. Um, you could, The hair that you do have can be cared for and thickened and plucked up or whatever, but growing other hair will be more of a challenge unless you maybe take some internal medicine. Alopecia like that when it's dependent upon your DNA or your history, then you need to take something like Propecia or something like that. Talk to your doctors, please. Um, but you take something like that internally that's going to help your blood flow and all that kind of stuff. And that's going to promote. I ain't going to say it's going to make it work, work, but it's going to promote um, hair growth. Like I said, traction alopecia, if it's in the beginning stages, which is not scarred tissue, um, which we can talk about all that later, but basically in the beginning stages of traction alopecia, usually it's just a few bumps, it's a little bit of redness, and you'll have like a little small balding spot where you took the weave out too rough or whatever the case. You catch it soon, stop braiding on top of that to cover it up. You got to leave it alone to let it heal. If you keep pulling on it, trying to cover it up, all you're doing is causing more damage. Like I said, so once you start having scarring alopecia, basically, which is the same thing, traction alopecia, it'll look smooth. It'll look shiny. If you have little fuzzies, that is not real hair that is going to grow out to be like the rest of your hair. So in that sense, when you're so far gone to the pack, to the point where you have scarring, um, you, you don't have, that's it. Implants, um, wigs, that, that's, that's it. You're, you're pretty much done. Um, you might get a little bit of hair growth, like I said, with certain kinds of medications, but usually then you have to stay on those medications until, until, because once you stop with those medications, you do promote some things and block other stuff. And once you stop taking the medication, that doesn't happen anymore. So then the hair just falls out and then it doesn't grow back. So you have to stay on it once you start. So I was when you first start having problems, find out what's wrong and then like stop doing what caused it or start doing something to help promote the change. What, what are some of the causes that cause alopecia that... Well, there's, so there's, I think there's three types. Again, don't quote me, but the, the one of it is just, it's just genetics. If you have older women in your family who have really thin hair at the top and all that kind of stuff, that might just be what it is. And you need to talk to, like I said, your doctor, talk to a trichologist and they can figure out the type of alopecia that you have. Some of it might just be stress or medication. Sometimes when you take certain medications and you're just going through a hard time, you start having blotches. And, it, and it's really just hormonal changes and things like that, which I want to say is not serious because it is. But again, you can identify it. You might need to take a couple of supplements and then you'll be better. But the, the worst kind is traction alopecia. That's glue, that's weaves, that's tension for long, long periods periods of time once it's done it is done so yeah wow. watch yourself watch the edges but it's not just your hair though absolutely it's, it's not just the hair on your head y'all it's hair okay so yep fat it's hair and like she said it's an autoimmune disease that attacks the hair follicles and the word alopecia itself just means hair loss. Mm -hmm. So that could the causes could be childbirth. Does that even the mean for like could be vagina medicine. too? Yes. Yo, wow. Hair, yeah. Yep. Hair, yeah, the hair okay. on your that arm. <laughs> you know, sometimes there's people who don't grow hair on their arms and legs, and they think that that's just normal. That could be alopecia. I, I, it's, it's funny you mentioned that. I don't. I don't grow hair on my legs. So is that, that could be. It could be. You never know. Yeah, I'm, sim I'm similar that way too. I don't have a lot of body hair, period. Like, I ain't got no eyebrows either. And so my, my stepdad was one day, he was like, well, I had some more when I was younger, but never had a thick, heavy set. I've never plucked them. I've never shaved them. I've never rubbed them off. The most I've done is put a little makeup on and thicken them up. And so maybe I was washing my face too hard. I don't know. But I want to I don't have a lot of hair on my legs. I don't have hair on my arms. I don't, I just, I'm just not a hairy person. And through previous poor hair choices and then just my chemical and DNA makeup, it, it is what it is. What, what about eyelashes? 
Brandy? Do, uh, does it they're just, they they have length? Hey. You know, I have on extensions. They have length, but they're not thick. They're just there's my hair is the texture of my. I don't have no perms or nothing like that. It's just it is what it is. It's just it's mm -hmm. it's thin. It's fine, um, and I love it. It's mine. <laughs> that, yeah. But you wow. just have to learn how to be healthy. They always say that for for your skin, for your hair, for your nails, it starts with your diet, right? Not dieting, yeah. but your diet, how you take care of yourself. That's that is right. how you eat. That and pre -natal stressors. Hmm? Pre prenatal pills. Yeah, all of that. Biotin. Be what, healthy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I, and I mean, you could get any of those pills, like, you know, on Amazon or Walgreens, whatever. Yep. But you know, it's, it's so funny. I wonder how effective they actually are. Like, do they really make your nails grow long? Does it really make your hair, especially with African-American women? You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't think those prenatal pills are actually targeting or, you know, catering to us. Mm -hmm. We oh. need our own thing. And so... <laughs> Are there any recommendations for that? Our, our resident researcher, <laughs> Diamond, going to have to fill us in on that. <laughs> Let us know, Diamond. Let us know. Yes. Right. <laughs> uh, vitamins. So are you looking for, like, black-made vitamins? Like, made by black companies? Yes. Or? Yes. To, yes. We need the education on that. Dominique I mean, said they do so for me. Pick them way before my you guess would be like traditionally you wouldn't go way back, right? Us as a people lived right. off the land and how right. we ate. We didn't do a lot of um, like when it comes to vitamins and stuff, right? Everything natural from the earth, which is why a lot of people um, who are into like herbalism and different things like that have found it to be really effective because it's it's not just ta if you take the supplements but you eat McDonald's every day that's not gonna work right, <laughs> right? that's not gonna work, work honey. You, you, need to, you need to be healthy you need to be drinking water you need to be exercising you and then take your biotin take your prenatal whatever it is because if you you that's just the same thing and like I said if you're working out but you eat, you work out once a week, but you eat sweets the rest of the week that don't match. So you have to have an overall picture of health for all these different little things to take effect, I think. And so that's to your point about made for black people. We seem to thrive on nature, I think, being melanated beings and from the sun and the sun replenishes those plants right that's where the plants get their energy and their food from is the sun so if we need the same energy and thriving which is from plants we need to eat them and consume them which is consuming sun energy but we'll not talk about that either <laughs> okay. so since nope. we're consuming sun energy let me tell you what that is not what that is but what we can eat to do that right there's onion juice you rub it on your scalp there's essential oils, which we all know, tea tree oil and peppermint, right? We all know that's one that helps with hair growth. If you didn't know, now you know. Rosemary and lavender. I knew that rosemary did, but I'll never use it. Lavender, that's a good one. I didn't know that. Um, coconut, castor oil, olive oil, and jojoba oil. We what all about know Jamaican, that. What about Jamaican? Uh... It's castor oil. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> now you know. Um, scalp massages, mm -hmm. acupuncture, mm -hmm. aromatherapy, laser therapy, which is kind of like what she was saying with the um, UV lights, so like the sun rays. But of course, it's safer to do it with the laser light. Um, ginseng, green tea, and you'll never guess, but. Saw Plamento. Okay. Oh, Palo Saw you know the, you know what y'all use info. Sage. No, the what? The, it, I said it. Plamento or Plamento. Saw it's, it's just like a sage. You burn it and you clean you. You can clean oh, okay. energy with it. I have. I'm like I have sandalwood and stuff. I didn't know. I didn't <laughs> right, know. right, right. Um, and Chinese hibiscus. Okay. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. That Royal because Rain said avocado is, is really good too. Pretty much, it's all um, alopecia. Pretty much is like stress related. So, like during childbirth, if you have a stressful childbirth, it can cause alopecia. If you're stressful at you know in any point, you can have alopecia. Um, medications that might change your mood or things like that. And yeah. all the things they just named are pretty much things that will keep you calm and stress-free. So yes. everything that was just named, even if you don't have alopecia, you still should probably try to get into a practice of those things if you find yourself having high stress levels, anxiety, and things like that. Yes. Um, the other thing that you guys asked me to look up was black owned businesses that have a vitamin company mm -hmm. and the top six is answer spelled a-n-s-e-r pretty healthy pro black motiva um peak and valley she davy And was that all six? So these are like all uh, multi vitamins for black women? Yep. Ooh. We can look that up on Amazon and order some. You need to do one of those challenges where you get some and try it for like 30 days and see if you see any kind of results. Right. You know, it's funny, uh, Brandy, um, <clears throat> you said you use uh, the black soap. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that, that's from Africa, right? I believe so. It should be. <laughs> I, believe so. I hope so. Right. That's so, what they say. I don't know if it comes from anywhere else, but that's what I've been told and how I sourced mine from people that say that's where it came from. So, no, so I, I used it on my face once, and I swear to God, I was glowing. Like, it looked like I had makeup yes. on afterwards. How yes. if you if you overdo uh, it when you do it, I you love could, you? Yeah, you you got to be careful. She said we all try one day different. Girl, on TV. <laughs> um, yeah, you you yeah, it, it can be harsh. I don't know what's in it. Don't even get me to lying because I'm not gonna tell you what I don't know. But I I use it probably like I don't know two to three times a week. I don't use it every day because I personally can't. You know what I'm saying? Like with my skin and sensitivities and whatever. And I don't even know if that's recommended because I know it can be harsh. And I know that it also comes in different forms. So maybe in liquid form is different. I don't know. Well, you got some nice skin, boo boo. <laughs> Looking like a bottle up in Damn. <laughs> I need to work on it though. My pores are like humongous. And I need mean, anybody got any tips for me? Help me yes, out. Yes, aloe vera. Aloe vera. She's like, aloe vera. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, you I'm know what's crazy? Because I be in the you make a mask. Life. Avocado and eggs. Okay, I use or just the egg eggs. Mask, the white the of the eggs. That don't Don't ask me why my pores like this. So I'm giving you advice because I ain't got time to do all that to my face. <laughs> what are coconut wait, wait, wait. shell ashes for? You still don't know what's coconut crazy. shell ashes. It will burn Is your that ass. What it's made from. Oh yeah, Aztec and clay, but that don't quote that don't help your pores though. Well, at least don't help mine. I do that. I definitely <laughs> do that one. Whenever I do my hair, I do my face, and it don't never do that. What it does is actually it detoxes your skin. Oh, okay, the black soap. Okay, talk about the coconut ashes. Okay, and then what were you saying? Say cool. You oh, so what's crazy? Since I'm a model, I can't use you know face stuff because I break out. And I, I was working out one time I was using like a face, like a morning face and night um, cream kind of thing. And I kept breaking out. I'm like, what the, what's going on? So I didn't use it for a week, right? And I did not break out. So I was like, okay, well, I'm allergic. Uh, maybe not allergic, but maybe your skin has something like, I don't know how to explain it. But like, for instance, I don't know if anybody used proactive or any, or any kind of acne, like whatever. You may not have a spot on your face, but then you put the stuff on and then all of a sudden you break out, right? That's right. The, what it's doing is it's bringing whatever's underneath this skin that you have 
So I'm not using technical terms because they're not going to know. But whatever's underneath this skin here, I was bringing all that out. So let's say you have been doing all this work and you wash your face, but you're not getting deep down in there, right? So right. after all this day's work, sweat and dirt and debris, it gets deep down into your pores. So when you're washing your face with just a little bit of soap or whatever soap you're using or no soap at all, you're literally just washing the counter. You're not even getting deep in there. So when you use whatever products that's supposed to help your skin, it's bringing all of that out. And you have to continue to use the product to help your skin actually get the full effect of it. That and so sense. because you're a model, you should definitely be using some kind of skin care regimen because uh -huh. your face will at some point get saggy from all that makeup or whatever you're doing to your face, all the extra talking, smiling, and all that stuff. Right, right, right. What? Not saying you have to use chemicals, but, you know, find yeah. something. You know, even if it's just putting coconut oil on your face and then steam your face, and then get some tea tree oil, mix it with a little bit of something, eat some oil or some water, and you just fritz your face a little bit, wipe that off, steam your face again. Okay, Diamond, <laughs> the the <laughs> They both know beauty and fashion and everything. Hair. <laughs> you name it, we do it. <laughs> yes. Yes. Brandy's my spirit animal. <laughs> No. <laughs> see, that's why both y'all got some nice skin and y'all know how to do makeup and hair shit. We, we <laughs> tell each other we here. Remember that? We here. Right. <laughs> I yeah. can turn around and know what she's doing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> folk. Right. Um, so not to keep you guys on for too long, but we do have one more thing. Have you guys seen... Um, the first billionaire landing from the edge of space. No, heard no. about it, didn't see it. I, go ahead and tell me about it because, yeah, I, mm. well, actually, we're not even gonna talk about him, we're gonna talk about how Uzi Bird is about to buy this planet. <laughs> yeah, I read some of that. Oh, Lord. first of all, who you buying it from? <laughs> <laughs> That's the real question. <laughs> Who's taking your money for something they don't even own? I don't even know. Wait, I, I don't even think about that like that. Yes. But <laughs> how? A uh, planet? I just thought I, I you just like, little oh, okay, cool. Symbolic, put your name on a star. Okay, whatever. But I'm buying and purchasing a planet. Yep. I mean, listen. That you'll you never what? visit ever. Maybe he's thinking right. you know, about his grandchildren's grandchildren's grandchildren. If we ever make it one day, they'll own it. But first of all, if you think that they would even allow that to the, uphold, they're just going to take your little dollars and it'd be like, give you a little piece of paper and be like, here you go. You done paid however much you're trying to pay for a piece of paper that says whatever. I mean, good for you if that's what you want to do, but trust and believe if somebody else want to get up on that planet that's, that's what they're going to do because you ain't even got no money to get there Ooh, or right. they already put owns that planet put, let me know. you know what I mean that makes and, no sense to me I'm and, sorry and that's just me all I need this, more information how about I say yeah. that I don't know enough yeah <laughs> if I have well, more information I'm, I'm not going to say that I know enough but after seeing the post on I think it was the shade room who posted it I went to go click and click and click to just to see what, you know, what's what. So, like, he made this post on Twitter. I'm trying to pull it up, but because I'm on live, I can't even go to my freaking story. But he, um, what did he say? Somebody said, oh, you think he, he think he, you think he's going to buy a star? And he said, no, I bought the whole planet. Okay. Where is the post? Here we go. Okay, so little Uzi reveals he is currently in the process of gaining ownership of planet WASP-127B. I don't even know if this is a real planet, but the caption says, billionaires are out here going to space and little Uzi is trying to own a planet. Uzi revealed on Twitter that he is currently working on owning a gas exoplanet called, and I just said the name. I don't want to believe this is true. Why? Because I went to his page, and I'm going to pull that up for y'all, too. He said he was trying to surprise us, but I don't think that the surprise is the planet. 
I think the surprise is this album. <laughs> Somebody said, I want to know how he's going to claim ownership of a planet that doesn't even belong to Earth or humans. Hmm. This is what I'm saying. Who you buying it from? So, there is a future in Little Uzi Vert album called Planet and Baby P Pluto and Baby Pluto. Or is that a song? Maybe it's just a song. This all could be a PR stunt. You know what I mean? Right. We all love some stunts. I ain't got time. I'm because sorry. there's nowhere on his actual page where he's like saying anything about a planet. Except People even in the, saying stuff. This is the only thing that you see that has a planet and there's him sitting on the top of it. <laughs> So this, again, shows that it might just be something about an album or something that's coming out. Not really him having a planet. Right. Yeah. Uh, if y'all could go to space, would you go? That was the next thing. <laughs> wow. I would go. Um, I would go, too. You guys want to know something? Um, it, it's crazy that you asked that because uh, I was on this film set, like, three years ago and uh this girl she was you know one of the actors on the set and um she is actually in the process of becoming an astronaut and and going to i don't know if she said the moon or another planet but uh you know she says it's, it's like a 20-year process but she's already like deep in the game and i said wait a minute i said well, you know, most people who, you know, shoot up to the moon or shoot out of space, they don't come back. <laughs> and she was like, yeah. She was like, I'm preparing for that. And I'm already in my fifth year. I have 15 years to go. And then I'll get to leave this earth. And I'm like, so. What? Yeah. So and I was just like, whoa. So you're planning your your death within the next right. year. And she was like, yeah. She's all, it's always been my dream to travel outer space. And she's like, this oh, okay. is what I live and die for. And um, she was like, yeah, I, okay. I, I probably won't make it back. Um, so that was like my first time meeting someone who's really into that kind of stuff and who's like really planning their life and devoted to going out of space and not coming back. So um, with that being said, no, I don't want to go out of space. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Dang. Dang. I, I, I mean, I do want to go, but now, I mean, I do want to go. I do want to go. But what if you so don't, I don't know about work? I don't know about, you know, the whole diehard working for NASA trying to like, get there 15 years and then I finally get to go type shit. I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> you'll you'll, you'll be know. like on Hidden Figures where you just do like all the technical. And yeah. Math. You know, I stay on land. I'll there. get you there. Yeah, I crazy. <laughs> Brandy, would you go out of space? Mm, I'd like to say yes because I'm all about the science, but I'm thinking no. Maybe it depends on how old I'll put it this way. If my kids is grown, living a life, got their family, and I'm nearing the end anyway, but somehow I'm healthy enough, nearing the end means just an age, like we're all going to expire, right? Uh, but I'm nearing the end, but healthy enough to go through whatever process to make it on out there, I might hop on. I might hop on. I ain't gonna you know be able to come back and talk to nobody about it, but I guess it's my own experience. <laughs> right? and, and, and look, the, the, they'll only be able to hold a memorial for you. They won't be able to like I I want anyway. roll or I don't want no funeral service anyway. All I want is a beautiful picture, big ass picture slash poster of me. <laughs> You know, you, and everybody you talking about like how grandma, awesome I was. My my grandma's the same way. She's like, I don't want no funeral because I don't want no yeah. fake motherfuckers coming to my my funeral. Uh -uh. <laughs> we gonna celebrate like this bitch gone. No, I'm just playing. But no, like for real, we gonna have a good time. I don't I don't want no. So those y'all that know me and love me, they already know I'm getting cremated. Put a cute ass picture of me or a couple of pictures of me, and we gonna have fun. And everybody's gonna take a shot at Hennessy before they go home, preferably right. Ready. Preferably ready. <laughs> They go take a shot of something and it's gonna be dark and take your ass home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> now we know. For real. But if I can go to space, then we'll do that before I go to space. I'll just be there. We'll have the memorial and I'll be there. <laughs> just like okay, y'all right. on my way. <laughs> nice knowing That's you. Funny. 
That's so funny. <laughs> Me and my leather skirt, two top and pink hair going to space. <laughs> Eating all that space food. Thank oh you. Gosh. Twinkies and, and dehydrated foods. Yeah. Applesauce. Right. Applesauce can't Pop go to uh, space. What do they Unless eat? Unless it's in the little sucky thing. Oh, <laughs> no. Like a little kid drink. All that. Yeah, you can't have applesauce in the thing. And it's going like that. It's going to be... Uh, you got blood. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That would be hilarious to see. Hey, I'm just saying. I, I've had it's this true. thing before. <laughs> what about to say, cool, would you go out of space or what? Uh... For some handshakes, for, for some, con just for some content. But then, I <laughs> but then I want to come back because that's not the way I want to die. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that would be a cool way to go out, though. If you think about it, like, right. like oh, but, but look, but look, if I was to go out of space, right? I'm gonna be numb. Everybody who knows me, who loves me, knows. I want Keisha Cole. To perform at my funeral, okay. Okay. Even my picture is just there. Please, please, please perform at my funeral, please. <laughs> I love me some Keisha Cole. Somebody mm -hmm. over here know her, tag her. Right. Tag her. <laughs> yeah. Rest in peace to her yeah. mama. Rest yeah. Peace. Right. That was right. awful to hear. Yes, I was really sad. I was crying. My mom told me the whole story. That's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, Rest what's the whole story? Well, I don't know what y'all heard. The whole story for me, I just heard that she passed, but I didn't know what happened. And so my mom filled me in on the details. That's you know what's crazy? I'm just saying that my mom told me was funny, but what she told me wasn't funny. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, no. Your yeah. mom told me was what I was laughing at. Yeah, me I too. Just want, I just want to say something real quick, okay? You know, we're talking about re reality shows earlier, how, you know, Keisha Cole's reality show was like the realest show I ever seen. The realest yeah. show I ever seen. It was nothing fake. It was nothing scripted about that show. It was nothing yeah. but love. Like she put her whole life out there. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, she did. And that's that's the truth because at the end of the day, we make we all come from the same background. She comes from the town. You know what I'm saying? And she comes from her mom struggling, and she put that out there. Right. So, recipe is fake, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And down, holler. <laughs> yeah. Well, ladies, I am going to have to sign off. Yes, me too. Me too. It's <laughs> been me <fabulous>. four. <laughs> that was, was totally fun. it. That was our last topic. Oh, okay. Perfect timing then. Right. Yes. Yes. Fun. Talk to you. Well, thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. And uh, shout out to Sekou, who's our special mm -hmm. guest today. Whenever you want me to come back, you know, let me know. Yes, yes. yes and know. Diamond, Brandy, you guys are amazing. Like, and so beautiful and intelligent. <laughs> I, I, I want to say one thing before I go. I want to say thank one thing before I log out. Well, two things. You guys keep working, keep killing the game, keep doing you. And at the end of the day, fuck the haters, love yourself, and keep it moving, and keep it lit. I appreciate that. Thank you. I Same sentiments out to you all. Love you, too. Thank you, Miss Kill, the, the diva. Thank y'all. Yeah. Y'all have a good night. Ellis, Diamond Brown, you guys are amazing. Ah. See you guys next Thank Tuesday. You guys. Adios.